When there's no more room in hell, the dead will walk the earth. And as the cave-like delay reverb fades out, we will say hi for another week of guitar porn stuff. And we've got acoustic again. Um, this is Deja Vu though, because me and Bibby have just filmed this whole video and then we forgot to press record, which is brilliant. Only on the audio. Oh yeah. I, I hit record. Oh yeah, yeah, it's just my fault. But anywho, right, how are you doing guys? Um, good to have you back. I hope you've liked and subscribed. If you haven't, please do because our subscription monster loves the pellets that you feed him by saying, yes, I'm in this team. So give us a help, because the more subs we get, the better we get, the more we can do for you. And then we can start doing giveaways and stuff, which has got to be good. Anyway, I digress. So we are back in the loving arms of the Ibanez Acoustic World. We are with the AEW 22 CD NT today, which is a ton of guitar for no money at all. So less than 300 queens queens english about 500 dollars god knows what that is in yen <laughs> but you, you guys can sort that out on your iphones um we've got enough frets we don't need to worry about less frets we've got easy access with this nice florentine cutaway that ibanez are notorious for on the aews um easy access up to the 17th you can get right up there actually to the 20th fret a um, little bit thinner a little bit more electric anti-feedback friendly Got a fisherman pickup, not a fisherman pickup, so it won't get you dinner, but it's definitely going to sound great. And that's a two band EQ treble and bass. Got a lovely spruce top on there, and we've got a cordia back and sides. Not cacordia, because that sounds like some type of alien bass, but who knows. Mahogany neck feels like a kind of electric -y neck it's a little less acoustic a little bit more electric so it's definitely good for me because i'm used to playing gems which are super thin so absolutely spot on and um, some nice accenting with the spalt of maple and the rosewood a ton of guitar for a lot of cash i hope you agree and it's xlr and jack out as well so you can use xlr and um, making sure that you've got easily enough signal going into any rig just sounds absolutely brilliant so enough of the chat, even though we are a chatty kind of channel, we're not just strictly demonstration, it's all about getting to know each other, uh, so when we meet up, we can buy each other drinks. Yeah, if you don't like chat, this is not the channel for you. It's not the channel for you, there's other guys out there who will just play the instrument, but we're like Top Gear, we like to sit in the car and drive it around and talk about it. Hey man, smell the leather and the rubber, don't just look at the pictures. Don't just look at the pictures. So yes, yeah, so that's what we're about. So I hope you uh, enjoy that. Otherwise, you're most probably going to put in the comments, you talk too much. That's okay. I do. Because I get nervous. <laughs> but anywho, let's carry on. So we're just going to play some more Cordy stuff. And um, this time I'll do some single notes with some nice ringy gear, just so you can understand, just so you can hear how um, resonant this little chap is.
Lovely. It sounds absolutely great through an FRFR rig, including the IRT X um, uh, extension or expansion cabinets. But it sounds great in the room as well. It's considering it's quite a thin instrument. It's awesome. It's super um, present and super loud. So that's really really cool. Um, so let's drop tune this, and because some guys do this drop tuning thing, so let's see how fat that can kind of get. Lovely. So sounds really super big, man. It's like this is all the guitar you will ever need. Just don't buy it with like wallet eyes. Buy it with wallet ears. Because it's not expensive. And people, I, I would have walked past one. I would have thought 280 quid, uh, it's going to be okay. But it's brilliant. Save your cash, man. Um, so we're now going to cut. We're going to go to a pre recorded backing track that I've done. I'm just going to play some lead stuff over the top just so you can get a feeling of how it sounds in a mix. Um, and again, if I just kind of pull the plug on this, and I'm, we're now just basically going to be using the camera audio just so you can get a, an understanding of how this kind of sounds unplugged. So this is just Nick on camera audio. So again, untampered, that's just what you're going to get through the volume of the Nikon. Just sounds great. So let's move on to a full mix kind of jam. Mm -hmm. 